Evening, thanks so much for joining us. Our Remarkable Women contest we've been telling you about for several weeks led to four finalists being chosen, one with a chance to make it to the national level. Well, it's now week two of meeting our finalists, and tonight we turn the spotlight on teacher Sarah Anderson. She's changing the way music is being taught at a local elementary school and so much more. and you may begin. Blending singing with learning to hit the same notes on a xylophone, a lesson in the universal language of music at Eaton Elementary School in Lenore City, led by beloved teacher, Sarah Anderson. She is nice, she's funny, she has a great voice. Um, she's smart and she just makes everybody smile. So the song goes, so So you would be playing G A G E G A G. What kind of singer is she? Mm, kind of like an opera singer. The out of the ordinary instruments and comprehensive music curriculum are part of Anderson's idea to make a difference, making an impression on the principal just two short years ago. I immediately called our superintendent and I said, I've got to have this girl. She's going to grow our program because the arts are something that you have to have someone that's very passionate about it. And it has to be more than a job and it's more than a job for her. I had been a teacher before prior to my children. And so it was a wonderful opportunity to be able to come back to the classroom and give children my love for music because that's something that has always inspired my life and been a part of my life. This devoted single mother of three teenage girls also works at Delta Airlines during the summer, putting in the hours as a gate agent and at the ticket counter to provide memorable family travels. It has enabled us to go literally all over the world. So it's been a wonderful opportunity for me and my daughters. Hard work pays off as a Delta employee, Sarah seized an opportunity to audition for the singing tree during last year's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. One of only 25 Delta employees chosen out of 86,000 in the workforce to take part. You can hear the pride in her daughter's voice when she spots her mom on the float passing by. Mom! Somehow, some way, Sarah finds time to work in another job as real estate agent. And get ready, she has beaten her goal to run a marathon in 50 states. She has now completed 68. The question we had to ask, what's behind Sarah Anderson's desire to keep pushing herself to achieve? I set a lot of goals in my life, but I'm no different than any other person out there. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to do the best I can for my daughters and give them the best life and best experiences that I can. Oh, wait, and did we mention Sarah Anderson also earned a master's in business administration from Carson Newman University. We don't have a photo of that. Sarah wasn't there. She was working and couldn't attend the ceremony. A remarkable woman. And we have two more remarkable women finalists to introduce you to. Be sure to join us next Tuesday here at 530 for our next special story. And again, the local winner among our four finalists will move on to the national level, level where a woman of the year will be selected. Check out our features at WATE.com in the As Seen On section.